Hi, this is Engineer Khaled and today I will explain you about roof waterproofing systems. I will tell you about two types of roof waterproofing system in this video. This is one of the question coming in the interview. You will be asked about the type of roof waterproofing systems and its details step by step. So please have a look. In my all video, I have just concentrated on the interview questions and step by step in a simple way to describe everything for you. So we'll start from the roof waterproofing system. We are using two types of roof waterproof system. Here you can see the first is traditional roof waterproofing system and the second is modern combo system. So first of all, I will tell you about the traditional waterproofing system. This is a section detail for the roof waterproofing system. Check from bottom to top, all the layers names are described here. So the step number one, we will start surface preparation for the roof waterproofing. Because when the roof water roof concrete is finished, we have to clean it against all the debris. After that, we'll prepare the ridges for the slope. Now here we have prepared the ridges for the slope towards the drains. And here we have fixed the drains. The slope is coming directly to drains, so all drain all roof drain water will be drained out easily. So after the ridges is fixed, we will start casting a foam concrete. Foam concrete in the slope, just follow the ridges where the slope is going. And then we will complete the foam concrete. Why we are using the foam concrete on the roof? To just to reduce the weight of concrete because it's a very lightweight concrete. That's why we are using the foam. It is foamy. Next, we will apply the bituminous primer coat above the foam concrete. This is a step for the waterproofing again. After the primer coat is finished, we will apply attached membrane. This is 4 mm membrane applied with a touch, touch one layer. So after all the primer is finished, the membrane is finished, the next we will fill the water on the roof and we will keep it for 48 hours to check if there is any sign of leakage or no. So if there is no leakage, no sign of leakage, we will remove the water and we will clean the waterproofing membrane again just for the next activity. The next activity we will fix a thermal insulation. This thermal insulation is 75 mm thick and its density is 35 kg per cubic meter. Just keep in mind all the details. And the next after the foam concrete finish, the thermal insulation is fixed. We will apply, we will fix a geotextile membrane above the thermal insulation. And then above the thermal insulation, we will fix the roof tiles with the black sand and mortar. We will we'll keep some expansion giant in the roof tiles for expansion and contraction and in this giant we will fill a sealant here you can see we have filled the sealant and now the roof waterproofing system this was traditional it is finished over and the next system is modern combo system in the modern combo system it is totally different from the traditional system but it is very quick and it is used now all over so first of all in the modern combo system we will start a spray polyurethane foam on the roof it's the same step we in the previous system we have applied a insulation sheets here we are applying the insulation foam with the machine mixed here you you can see we have fixed the drains so after the foam and the drains are fixed we will start the next activity of waterproofing the next activity is we apply a bituminous coating above the roof all over the roof so once the bituminous coating is finish we will fill the water on the whole roof for 48 hours again we will check if there is any sign of leakage or no if there is no leakage we will remove the water next day and we will prepare a ridges for the slope and we will fix a geotextile membrane so first geotextile membrane fixed and after we will prepare the ridges slope ridges and then next we will cast the foam concrete again foam concrete because it is a lightweight concrete so when the foam concrete is finished, we'll make a good finishing for the foam concrete and then we will keep curing of the foam concrete to avoid any cracks. So after the concrete curing is finished for the foam concrete, we will apply epoxy flooring system on the roof. So this is a roof model combo system. I, will expl I have explained you step by step. I have explained you the steps for the traditional here you can see I have just typed all the steps for the traditional roof waterproofing system and here I have right wrote the steps for the modern combo system so just go by the steps it's very good information for the interview you will be asked 
if this information is good for you just like and subscribe so that you can get my other videos immediately thank you very much stay connected